Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thanks for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working on a Dell Latitude E7 470 laptop. I'm going to show you how to open it up, get inside of it, and access your storage and your memory if you want to upgrade it or replace it. So first thing you want to do, guys, power down your computer, make sure it's off, and unplug from the charger. We're going to flip it over now to access your screws. You have these three screws on the left, these three screws on the right, these two screws in the middle. And once you have those screws out, you can take a small plastic pry tool and go around the outer rim, the seam of your bottom case and your palm rest and pry the bottom case off. Once you do, you're looking at this for the inside of your computer. Some of you will see a battery around this size. Others will see a battery around this size if you have the upgraded battery. Uh, but either way, the first thing I like doing when I get into a computer is I like unplugging or removing the battery to make the computer more safe to work on. So the first thing that I'm gonna suggest you do is unplug your battery right here. There's a black pull tab. You can pull that clip right up and your battery will unplug from the motherboard. That's usually sufficient um, for doing anything. If you wanna remove the whole battery, you can undo this screw right here and that battery will come out. Once you do that, guys, your memory is right here. This is your RAM. Your RAM is held in by two metal arms on either side. What you do is you put your fingers on those and gently pry them apart, pry them away from the RAM stick. The RAM will release. Very often it will pop up a little bit and you can slide it out of that RAM port. This computer doesn't have a hard drive. It has a solid state drive, an M2 port right here. Some of you will see a black shield on top of it. You'll undo these screws and that will show you this solid state drive here. Some of you will not have a shield on it. You'll just see this option. It's held in by a single screw on the bottom. And then once you undo that screw, this solid state drive can unplug and pull out of that port. So that's how you would access your RAM and your solid state drive. Okay guys, so that's the video. I hope it was helpful in getting into your computer and finding the component you were looking for. Uh, if you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. I do try to keep those updated over time. If you do need to leave me a question, feel free. I try to answer those at least a couple times a day. Please remember to like and share if this video was helpful, if you think it could help someone else, and feel free to subscribe if you enjoy little quick tutorials like this. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.